Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to show you how to make an improvised blade fuse holder. Um, if I caught one of my technicians doing this, we would have words and I'd probably write them up. But, you know, this, this is just an extra safety thing for me. It's not really necessary, but I need it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a spade terminal. Um, I guess that's female. And we're going to go ahead and put the fuse into there and clamp it on. So let me just go ahead and clamp that real quick because I don't have my tripod out here. I'm kind of working out here improvised. So let me um, go ahead and do that and I'll show you how to make a really quick blade fuse holder. Uh, I'm choosing blade fuses because they're cheap and they're plentiful and they're usually 12 volts. So I got a 12 volt system. Wiring, I'm hot wiring my power windows. Uh, they have a 20 amp circuit breaker in there, but I'm going to go ahead and put this fuse in there as an extra, extra precaution because it'll always be hot so and I can roll it down without the key and stuff but anyway let me go ahead and just put this together and show you how to improvise it really really easy because this will just slide on on and off really easy but I'll be right back we'll go ahead and put it on right back all right so here it is I'll either cover it in duct tape or um electrical tape or I'll heat shrink it but I'm having the fuse also extended down so I can access it in the future if I need to. But this is going to be up in the dash. So this will all be taken care of. This is going to replace part of the uh, control module. But that's an improvised blade fuse. I don't recommend it. But you know. You do what you got to do. And then. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But there you go. That's snow camp pepper. And there you go. Alright. Have a good one guys. Don't do this.